Hi, I'm Mila Basmati and today I'm going to talk about Theodora. The title is uh, um, Power and Passion, Theodora. Uh, well, um, for me it's interesting this image of the uh, La Ravena. This is Theodora. Uh, there is only one image. It's a mosaic, a very famous mosaic. And Theodora is uh, the only image uh, of the Empress uh, Theodora is in Ravenna uh, with uh, Italy. Uh, he never went to see because she died when they finished the mosaic. Uh, is, well, the only um, image of, of the Empress is uh, Theodora is in Ravenna with very large, uh, dark eyes and a narrow face. Uh, the Empress, uh, um, who is not young, uh, must be more or less 15 years old. Uh, the date of the birth is uh, not well known. Uh, he died in the year uh, one, no, 448, um, almost at the same time that the church uh, in, the, in which he, he was, she was pictured was inaugurated. The image is made from Constantinople, Constantinople model as uh, Theodora uh, never steps on Ravenna. Theodora's future showed the uh, deterioration, c c perhaps uh, by a, a disease. A specialist uh, said uh, that maybe cancer or perhaps uh, the stress or the hardness of uh, governing in, in difficult times or in difficulties. <laughs> Uh, in, in 514, a plague or uh, epidemic uh, spread through the Byzantine Empire, uh, uh, decimating the, the population and running the economy. Uh, when Justinian, the husband of Theodora, uh, contracted the disease, all the responsibility of the government falls on Theodora. Uh, the Empress seems to control the situation, uh, prevent different services plot and deal with the administration of the empire and <clears throat> military campaign to the uh, dissatisfaction on the generals. She reached the peak of power and governed for months uh, as a an absolute uh, mistress of patriarchal space that relegates women to the tax of the sex, always. Uh, he has experience in government uh, affair because his husband, Justinian, uh, his husband, uh, let him participate from the beginning. Uh, uh, <clears throat> despite the fact uh, that uh, he doesn't conform to tradition or the constitution. But Justinian uh, wants to share everything with the woman uh, that he adores. <laughs> How wonderful husband. When he falls in love uh, with her, he, she is uh, 20 year old. And Justinian, uh, Justinian is more. Uh, 40 years more or less. Justinian, his uh, real name is not Justinian, it's Petrus. Uh, he, he was a farmer, uh, but his uncle has not any children. And then uh, take uh, an educate, well educate. And Justinian is, uh, was very, sh more or less, shy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and Theodora, no. <laughs> well, and Justinian is an adversary of the emperor, um, aspiring to 
just the emperor, his uncle was the name was uh, Justin, uh, and then aspired to the throne. Theodora throne. Uh, Theodora belonged to the lower class, uh, the emperor, the <laughs> the top and the bottom. Uh, very interesting couple. Uh, she she was very intelligent and feminist. Uh, she has performed in a variety and shows um, uh, from a young, terrible because uh, has not money. His father died and then. Um, because she's uh, pretty and funny. Also, she doesn't know how to sing or dance. Uh, she's a great success with his um, humorous opening. Uh, parody Leda, she comes out on a stage with an uh, inti goose while she moves sensually, uh, pimple hidden between her things. To the comes from a, a bridal. No, no one know even the church object uh, when the emperor's uh, favorite falls in love and marry. In, in three weeks, when, when Justinian know, him, know her, uh, in three weeks, uh, live, in, live uh, um, j together. Um, uh, she fall in, he fall in love uh, uh, quickly. Well, Theodora is uh, crowded with uh, Justinian, and since uh, uh, them not even uh, his greatest enemies, Procopius is one of them, can reproach him uh, from being light. She plays uh, her role with dignity, but without forgetting where she come from her show but the edict against the prostitution decreed by her. In 432, uh, in the Nikkei revolt, uh, she was strong, huh? stronger than, than, the, than the men, uh, uh, in which uh, entire neighborhood of the city where Barne and um, revolutionary Vicin, the, the palace, the palace of the emperor, at his uh, advice, consider the possibility of uh, living by sea. Theodora, who is the only woman in the group, advised men to fight and not to run away. Uh, guided by his advice, uh, Justinian general put down the empress. There are two women in the mosaic who are not identified, uh, but one of them is uh, Antonina uh, and his daughter Janina. But while the five companions in the back, uh, in the background, are represented uh, following the same pattern, the two closer to the empress present a peculiar feature. The oldest with high cheekbones, uh, maybe Antonina, his uh, close friend, I don't know if it's an English close friend, best, best uh, friend, uh, the palace battle and Belisario's wife, while the youngest uh, with similar feature, uh, maybe his uh, daughter Joanina. Teodora, uh, is, is this... Uh, The picture Antonina and Janina. The other is like a chorus, and this is the servant, his servant. Uh, they were joined by a common past on a stage, and the two have a strong personality and very intelligent Antonina too, uh, thanks to which uh, they exert influence of their husband. Theodora protects her friends despite uh, his scandalous lifestyle, but not just only of uh, friendship uh, through Antonina. Uh, he had a uh, control general Belisario. Uh, Belisario is uh, the first general and um, is um, not good for the emperor. 
uh, for Justinian. Uh, who could be dangerous rival uh, against Justinian. In addition, uh, Antonina was very useful to him as a spy. Uh, to the support, the um, monophysis uh, all her life, whose follow followers live in Egypt and in Syria. Well, that's all. Thanks so much. Until tomorrow. Bye.